So, uh, welcome back to the ship model studio. Uh, I will post part one again of this session. For some reason, it didn't it didn't uh, load the other day. It didn't all upload all the way <clears throat> to YouTube. But anyway, uh, we will uh, repost that. I. I'm going to try and demonstrate on this video here how I go about clearing away the old rotten figure eights on the belaying pins and the old coils which are you can see her here, but <clears throat> you really can't see, but I want to get this a little closer for us. And uh, the pin rails run fore and aft. It's one long pin rail from the break in the poop deck, quarter deck. All the way forward to the forecastle head to the whale back deck, and uh, <clears throat> the pins are placed where needed. Um, <coughs> I do that with an exacto. Okay, and I don't know how close we can get in here for you. I don't have zoom capabilities. Essentially, I start forward, I slide the point as parallel as I can, facing inboard from forward or aft, whichever is easier. I slide it in underneath the figure eight without trying to, you know, without damaging the model, and cut it away, boom, done. It's rotten, it usually goes away fairly easily. Just slide it between the wood and underneath the figure eights, and I cut it. That clears it. Be careful of everything that you're trying to keep i.e. these shrouds over here. You know, don't move away fast and you handle hooks or, you know, slice it over here like I just about did. We're just going to move along like that. Clear it away. Cut it. Cut it away. Clean it all up later. Main thing right now we're concentrating on getting the belaying pins ready for new running rigging. You don't want to put new running rigging over the old remnants that are still attached from the rotten rigging before. From the old <clears throat> rotten rigging. I get rid of the old coils. I don't make coils like that. 
I make round coils and hang them the way they were hung. I also have a method for that, but we'll get to that later. I'll share it with you. You know, nothing more <clears throat> looks worse than coils on a ship model that are <clears throat> not hanging with weight. So you have to create the illusion. You know, coils that are sticking straight out. Are not realistic. I'm just moving along that pin rail from fore to aft with the end of my knife. I just slip it in between the belaying pin and underneath the old figure eight. A couple of snips clears it away. Pull the old shit out of there. Have some old coils here. Get them off of there. Sometimes you can cut from the top down, but <clears throat> then you risk the run the risk of cutting into the wood of whatever of the pin rail. That's a nasty one. I can't get my knife under it. There we go. Clear them from the top and the bottom. It's usually half hitches. Just kind of the only way they'll hold when you do them originally, so. Early on, I used to spend time with tweezers trying to unfigurate them. I just cut them, cut it away. <clears throat> There's an old coil. Save the block. Try and save those dead eyes there if we can. And the lanyards probably won't be able to. Might be able to. We'll get to that later though. Right now we're doing belaying pins. It takes two hands. They can be stubborn. <clears throat> rotten as they are when they're figurated over each other they're a little uh, a little stronger but this method I've found is the fastest without really causing damage Just, you know, <laughs> part of the idea. Huh? See? Is it safe? And, uh, and you can get in there. With your brush brush this shit away you know we're not to the cleaning stage yet but you want to get it 
clear enough of all this debris. There's a block there on a strop. It's on a wire strop. I'm going to leave that. So, that's how I do that. This is a little messy back here. Keep a flexible light there. This is a good little light. It's quite bright. Again, the hard part is finding a place for your hands. Let's see here. You don't want to break other things that you're trying to keep, i.e. shrouds. You know, there's enough work in this model uh, without making more. I'm going to have to cut down through that. That's a mess. Jesus Christ. There we go. The only way to do it is uh, just kind of go after it. Here's a takele. I'm going to just leave that for the time being. Cut through this shit. There, see how I bent? I got so much on that. I just bent the, uh, the laying pin. That's all right. We'll bend it back. There we go. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> what you mean, oops? <clears throat> I know what I mean when I say oops. Straighten that up. Don't bend it around too much. Break it off. Needle nose pliers. Tweezers. Scissors. The essentials. Angle tweezers are the best. I have two pairs floating around here somewhere and I can't find either of them the other day when I started on this little monster. Okay. So there you have it. That's how you clear the belaying pin. Done that. Now I'll go about clearing off the rest of the deck and then we can start making head and or tail of it. Head and tail of it, I should say. Can't make head and tail of it, no at all. Okay. Cheers. I'm Peter Warburton. Thanks for tuning in to the Model Shipbuilder Studio. Cheers.